This video covers a tool called Rectangular Array. Rectangular Array will evenly space rows and columns of painted, cut, and or crystalled objects. You can customize your array through tool options or through the control handles of the array. Let's open a design. I'll click on Open Existing and then Browse. And the file that we're going to use is in the Paintwork folder in your Design Works folder and it is Bernina 005. After the design opens, I'm going to select just a part of the design to create the array. I'll make a copy of this design and then open a new file. And I'll work through the wizard. Because I want a blank screen, I'll select New Graphic and then click Finish. Then I'll simply paste the design in the hoop. At this point, I can edit this design or I can apply the uh, Create Rectangle Array icon. When I click on that, you'll see that a preview is given. The software remembers your last array that was created in the software, but you can edit this at this point. As I mentioned, there are two ways to edit, one mathematically and one visually. In Tool Options, all you have to do is change the number of horizontal copies, the number of vertical copies, and you can go up or down. You can also change the spacing, and pressing Enter will give you a preview, or you can use the up and down arrows, and they will automatically adjust the array. Now, you'll notice that Clone Objects is checked. And at this point, if I edit the original design, it will apply that change or those changes to all the other objects that are part of the array. I can reshape this or I could change the properties and it would affect all the copies if I have clone objects checked. Now, at this point, I could go ahead and apply the rectangular array or I could choose select another shape and start over. Now let's look at the control handles and how they edit the array. First of all, if I want to move this array to another area of the hoop, I can click on the control point of the original design and drag it away. Now, as you can see, the preview of the array remains and the original also is still shown here. If I want to rotate the entire array, I click on the control handle that is over on the right side and drag on my screen to rotate the entire array. If I want to change the spacing visually, all I have to do is click on any of these control points other than the original one, and I drag to the right or to the left I can also drag down or up, and that is going to change the spacing. Now I can also adjust the number of copies within the array, and this is done visually by holding the Shift key and dragging to the right to increase the number of columns or to the left to decrease the number of columns. While I hold the shift key and drag down, that is going to add rows. If I hold the shift key and drag up, it will subtract the rows. I can also hold the shift key and drag diagonally and change both the number of columns and the number of rows. If I zoom in, there are a couple other control points that appear when I rest my cursor on a control point one is Rotate and one is Mirror. If I click on Mirror, it's going to mirror every other object in the array. If I click on Rotate, it's going to rotate every other object 90 degrees. So I set up the array just like I want it, and then when I'm ready to apply, I can click on Apply Rectangle Array. You can see that the original object disappeared, and now I have my array. 
I'm going to delete this and let's talk about some practical uses of the rectangular array. For one thing, I could actually draw a line, select that line, and change it into a cut line. By applying rectangle array and decreasing the number of horizontal copies and by increasing the number of vertical copies, I can create a row of fringe. So imagine using this to cut your own fringe out of leather or ultra suede. Another thing I could do with the cut line is place it totally around a quilt square and use it to cut fringe around a quilt square and make a fringed quilt. Also imagine that I create a rectangle that is the size to go around my wrist. I'm going to get rid of the fill and within this I'm going to draw another rectangle shape. The first thing I want to do, of course, is align these shapes vertically, and then I will get rid of the fill and make this a cut file. Here again, I can apply my array, change the number of horizontal copies, and pressing enter to see the preview, I hold down the shift key and I can add another cut. And now I have a cut work bracelet. One other thing that I can do is create a circle. When I create a circle and select it, get rid of the fill, and add a running stitch. I can select one of these decorative stitches just by clicking on it. There are so many choices in the software. And after I choose my running stitch that I want to use, I can apply the rectangle array. And again, by changing the overlap by increasing the numbers and again by overlapping, increasing, and then applying that rectangle array, I have a design that I can use as a quilting design to be in the middle of a quilt block or along the border of the quilt. So I hope you use Rectangle Array. It's a lot of fun.